The heat between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia is on the roof as they recently came face to face for a special sit down interview. I think he's a one trick pony. It's annoying because he's just using that tank shit, like How am I using it's the truth. No, it's not, bro. How, how, have I knocked people out with a right hand before? But once they have took I away knocked your... out somebody with a right hand before? Who? I don't know, but have I? Who? Have I? Who? Have I knocked out somebody with Tell a right hand? Tell me who. Have I knocked somebody out with a right hand? The two fighters have a long history between them, and this was quite evident during the face-off interview with Dazn. The interview was full of jabs, but also the great chemistry the two have between themselves. The face-off felt more wholesome than threatening, where both the fighters shared different stories and opinions. It felt like they are just friends amping up this feud to get some cash. Even Ryan himself took a clip out of the interview and posted it on his Instagram account. The clip showed the two discussing their past amateur encounters in a much easier manner, where both had respect for each other. Like you weren't good in the beginning, remember? Like nobody, like every, nobody took you serious. <laughs> They're like, yo, Devin's easy work. And we win, and then I wasn't even worried about it. And him. then I started beating the shit out of you. beating everybody. No, beating you. Not beating the out of you. No, you started off with somebody else and beat that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was growing, growing up, I started beating the out of him. But do you and remember, it's boring. Do you remember? And it's but boring. Do you remember West Virginia Junior Olympic Nationals? How bad I beat the shit out of you? It was a split decision. Bro, how bad did I beat the shit out of you though? If you never a, beat the shit out of me, stop it, bro. You never beat the I shit out of me. Really no, you won that fight. fight though. You won that fight. For sure. You did. I give you that. I feel like I dominated. He went though. in there. He went in there. And he jumped on me. I wasn't right ready. off he, the he, rip. He, 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 <laughs> he surprised me that fight. I'm not gonna lie. I so then after, right. that, after that, I've been woke. I remember that. Shit. I still remember that to this day. I said I'll never let him do that shit again. No, I, and then I tried to do it again. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I was pissed. But fun and games were not all when it came to this face-off. Devin Haney made Ryan remember his Gervonta Davis fight and called him a quitter. Devin believes that Ryan has quit once, which shows that he'll do it again. Devin also questioned Ryan about what he's achieved on the elite level. Devin stated, Styles make fights. I feel like I'm levels above him. I feel like he hasn't fought on that elite level. But when he did, he quit. Whether he wants to admit it or not, the world watched him take a knee. The world watched him call in Kaepernick. So at the end of the day, what has he really done on the elite level? Devin even called Ryan a one-trick pony. He believes that Ryan has only got the left jab and hasn't grown much since the amateurs. I don't think Ryan has gotten much better since the amateurs. Ryan fights the same way. Obviously, he's gotten bigger and stronger, but it's the same thing, said Haney. I think he's a one-trick pony. Ryan quickly responded by saying, it's just annoying because he's using that tank have I knocked out anybody with a right hand? You'll be the first one. I'll be funny if I knock you out with a right hand. How hilarious will that be? Said Ryan. He only has a left hook. Boom right hand. The confidence in Ryan was good to see knowing that he's not being the best mentally. His recent social media activities were quite bizarre and questionable. Also, his behavior and mental health concerns were something that almost jeopardized this match. Many pros came forward in support of Ryan, and many suggested that he pull out from the fight. Eddie Hearn was concerned regarding Garcia and suggested Oscar De La Hoya to not let Ryan compete if he's not 100%. Eddie stated, is his behavior concerning? Probably yes, but how is he looking in the gym? Derek James is a very respectful trainer. I don't believe he would let Ryan Garcia go into a fight if he wasn't 100%. Oscar De La Hoya shouldn't be letting Ryan Garcia Garcia go into this fight if he's not 100% physically and mentally. The family shouldn't. So you've got to trust the people around him to make the right decision. The fact that he's still in the fight with four weeks to go, you've probably got to think he's going to be in the fight. Even Canelo Alvarez, who previously had beef with Ryan, came forward and showed his concern for Garcia. He advised him to spend his time with good people and look after himself. In my, in my mind going says help Ryan because he's a good kid. He's a good person. You need to help him. Uh, them, him, and and the people around him need to help him. So I feel a little sad for him because you know he need to he need to 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 have a good person, good people around him to, to hey Ryan, let's go, let's take it easy, slow down, and then and then we see. This show of kindness and concern shown by Canelo melted Ryan's heart, who took to Instagram and posted an old picture of him and Canelo to show gratitude. The post was captioned, No amount of hate can separate our Mexican bond. Thank you, Canelo, for all the lessons and teachings you gave me. Also, thank you for all the training you helped me with forever. Grateful and I'm thankful. From the bottom of my soul. Peso. What's up, bro? Thanks for showing me love, bro. Appreciate you. You supported me through Twitter checking in on me and I'm grateful for that. 
God bless you. I'm going to bring the WBC title back home. Viva Mexico. In the end, I do all things for God, and that will always remain number one first priority. Canelo responded to the post which ultimately crushed the heat they had between them. All of this resulted in their beef getting resolved and some very appreciative back and forth messages for one another. Vamos, cabrón. I still remember Eddie's word. Pancho! Pancho! Move it there, cabeza, cabrón. Move it there, move it there. Cabeza, cabrón. Finte, finta, finte. Ryan didn't shy to talk about how he feels during the face-off interview between him and Devin Haney. He was asked if he thinks he's in the right place to which he responded, 100%, this is the best I've felt. I feel like I'm coming into myself, and I think I'm at the top of my game right now, mentally, spiritually, everything. Yeah, I think this is my time, my moment, you know he has the crown right now, and I'm ready to go get it. Also recently, he posted a video online in which he claimed that there is no way a guy this jacked could suffer from mental illness. He told others to stop spreading this nonsense. If I'm not in shape like this, look at this. If I was that bad mentally, why do I look like this? Think with your brain. Why would I look like this? If, if, if I'm really that messed up mentally, right? Like people are claiming, I wouldn't look like this. I would be depressed. I wouldn't be eating. I'm just focused. I'm focused. I have a different type of passion. <laughs> like I'm ready to hurt somebody. Well, even if he's good or not, he has brought the right amount of eyes towards his fight with Devin Haney. He also seems very confident for pay-per-view buys for this fight, so much so that he believes that it will be bigger than his fight with Tank Davis. Go on the record that it's gonna break the Durante fight. Like it's live game. No, 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 the pay-per-view buys. What do you think he'll do? 1.5? I'm gonna mess around and get two. I'm not even kidding. We might mess around and get to. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah. Knowing that Ryan has gotten better and is looking good despite all the drug allegations makes the boxing world have a sigh of relief. Coming to what the pros think of the match between the and their favorite to win the bout, Ryan Garcia's father. Henry Garcia picks sides with his son for the win. Devin, if, what's the difference between Ryan and Devin? If Ryan hits you and wobbles you or drops you, what, what, what do you think Ryan would do? Exactly. You got to finish the job. That's your job is to finish the job, right? In boxing, you can't take... However, Jake Paul believes that Devin is going to smoke Garcia. Jake stated, Devin, he's going to smoke him. I obviously like Ryan, but like there's one person who's been in the gym taking the sport seriously and then never partying once and fighting the most elite competition. Yeah. Jake also accused Ryan of not taking the sport seriously, keeping in mind his social media activity. He also is doubtful because Ryan took a knee against Gervonta Davis. Ryan isn't taking it seriously, and he showed me his lack of heart by not getting up on the canvas when he basically quit. He could have stood up. Richardson Hitchens, who has spared Devin Haney before, believes that Devin is the better fighter. He acknowledged is the talent that Garcia has and is sure that the fight would be incredible. But when asked to pick between the two, he chooses Devin Haney. The Devin Haney, Ryan, I know that back in the day you sparred Devin and um, essentially this is in your way, class. This could maybe be a future unification. Do you have a, a prediction on that fight? Uh, I think Devin is the better the better the fighter, the way, the way more skillful fighter. I think that um, Ryan is good, he's talented, but I think that Devin is just the overall better boxer and um, Come fight night, I, I don't think I don't see Devin struggling too much with Ryan. But I think it is it is a a, a good fight. I think it's a great fight because of Ryan's uh young youth. He still has skills, he got talent, and he got that he got that that power that could still keep 
Devin on edge. So on the other hand, Michelle Rivera is willing to step in for Ryan Garcia if he doesn't make it to the fight. He believes that Ryan facing Devin is a waste of time as Devin will beat him easily. Rivera stated, let's be honest here. Everyone knows Haney will mop the floor with Garcia. Garcia may have a lot of followers, but he is overrated as a fighter. Haney will win the fight easily. He then proposed himself to fight if Ryan doesn't show up. He believes that his fight against Devin Haney is going to be much more competitive. Boxing fans know that a fight between Haney and me would be very competitive. I am focused and have been training. No one knows if crazy Ryan Garcia will even step in the ring on April 20th. And even if he does, what kind of shape is he in? Where is his head at? Is he even really training hard? I am the biggest threat to Haney at 140 pounds and ready to step in for Garcia. All Haney's team has to do is call my team and I will be more than happy to take his belt. With their match just around the corner, both the fighters are taking their training seriously and preparing well for the fight. So what do you think about this fight? Who do you think is going to come on top on April 20th? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.